This is a stock trading journal you can download for free in Google Sheets. And it's super helpful because it helps you refine your trading strategy as you can see all of your different investments, what works and what doesn't. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how it is that you can build this spreadsheet from scratch and how you can modify it to your own specific needs. Okay, so before I show you how to build the trading journal from scratch, let me just quickly show you how it works so we have all of these different inputs that you can change based on your own trading information and then from there all of this different information that you can see in green as well as these columns right here are populated for you along with the charts so for example let's say that we want to modify this investment that we made on the 1st of September. So let's just say that we're gonna change it now to SPY. The price that we bought was 300 and we sold at 325. As you can see, automatically the profit numbers are going to automatically be updated along with the result, along with all of the different information right here. And of course, the charts are also going to update. So you can change the information right here, or you can simply add more columns, and then all of the information will automatically update for you. Okay, so let's start building our trading journal now. The first thing that we're gonna need to define is the input so in this case i'm just gonna leave this right here and then what we need to do is enter the information that we want to record this can also be modified to include other information that you want to track so you can improve your trading strategies so in this case we just have the date we have the ticker we have the price that we bought price at which we sold we have the number of shares that we purchased and the reason why we bought now just to make this information look a little nicer we're going to select these different columns we're going to go on the fill and we're going to change it to this blue color we can also change it to any other color that you want and then we want to select white and then we want to change the text to white so that way we can more easily visualize the text in this case for the inputs we're going to label them as this gray color that you can see right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a whole bunch of different columns so let's say we want to select all of these different columns all we have to do is select this gray right here and there we go now our spreadsheet is looking a little nicer now we're gonna go ahead and populate the data but first let's fix the spelling right here make sure everything's spelled correctly there we go for the date we need to make sure that you enter the date as in the date format and the reason why is because this is going to allow you to perform date calculations if you ever want to add that to your spreadsheet so for example one of the easiest ways to get a particular date is just to type the short version of the month and then you can enter the date so for example let's say september 4th and then comma and then the year so in this case let's just say it's 2024 and as you can see this is going to be in the date format right here one way that you can verify this is if you select equals and then you enter the particular date and then you do plus one this is gonna show you that this is actually working so this is how you need to enter the date and then the ticker is just the ticker of the investment that you're making so that could be like apple here you're going to enter the price that you paid for the particular company so in this case let's say 220 and then you are gonna enter the price that you sold so let's say 225 all this information right here you can easily get from your broker and then the last thing is the number of shares how many shares did you buy for that particular company so in this case let's just say that we bought 30 and then here is a key part now this part is a little bit more of a pain in the butt but it's super helpful because here you're gonna list the reason why you bought this particular company so for example let's say one of the reasons was trend reversal so you enter this reason and this is gonna allow you to see the reasons that you had for your different investments and see if the those reasons are actually working and generating wins or losses for your particular portfolio moving on what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna copy paste the data that we have right here into the spreadsheet so that way we can have some example data that we can use and what we're gonna do next is we're going to add the calculated column so in this case we have the profit or it could also be the loss 
and then we are going to also get the result uh, we can just simply select these two columns right here click on fill again select this particular color change the text right here and then this is going to be a calculated field so the way that this is going to work is very simple to calculate the profit or the loss we take the difference between the price that we sold and the price that we bought so this is going to give us the individual profit or loss for one particular share and then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by the number of shares right here you click on enter and then you can autofill the information right here and now what we want to do is we want to show this information and we want to add conditional formatting so you can select just a whole bunch of different columns click on format and and then we are going to go to conditional formatting right here and this is where it gets interesting so we need to select when greater than zero what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna change the tax color so if it's greater than zero we're going to put this green color right here and then we're going to add another rule and we're gonna say now the opposite if it's less than zero we want to select this red color right here so as you can see this is going to automatically recognize the information that we have and is going to mark the profitable investments in green and the losses in red next up we're gonna calculate if this is a win or a loss and the way to do that is very simple we're going to use the if formula we're gonna select this cell right here and then what we're gonna say is if this particular cell is greater than zero then this should be a w if otherwise it should be a loss so it's a very very simple formula to create right here and we can see that this works it tells us this is a w and it is indeed a w uh, in this case this is a loss and it shows us a loss so we can see that the formula works now what we're gonna do is we're going to get all of these different fields and all of these different calculations so first we're gonna label which ones are inputs and which ones are not in this case is very simple this is the only input that we have so we're just going to change the formatting for this everything else right here is going to be this green color and we're going to change the text as well and then we just apply this same formatting real quick okay so now we're going to start populating these different fields so let's say the starting balance is a hundred thousand dollars so we're going to select a hundred one two three that's a hundred thousand we can also change the formatting so for example we can go here and make it in us dollars so we can visualize the information more easily the same can be applied to this information right here so for example let's say right now we have uh, decimals uh, we can get rid of those decimals if we don't want to see them if we select number right here and then we click on decrease decimal places now we can see the information without decimals and we can also change the uh, formatting for the other fields now the current balance formula is very simple we're just going to take our starting balance so this is going to be equals to the starting balance plus the sum of our total profit or loss so in this case we're going to select a whole bunch of different fields so that way if you add more fields this will be automatically calculated so let's say that another field gets added here let's just put 20 you see that now this is added and is going to also be taken account in the calculation perfect so now we have a starting balance and we have a current balance now what we're going to do is we're going to enter our win total for this we need to use a very simple sum if function so this is going to be sum if and then what we're gonna sum is the profit or loss again we're gonna add more columns and then we're gonna sum and then this is the key part you need to enter this quotation mark so that way it recognizes the criteria if this number is greater than zero so once again sum if enter the quotation marks greater than zero and then after that this is going to give us the win total we can again change this to be as a currency so if i go here and click on us dollars now we can see the win total 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. So we can just go ahead and copy this, paste it right here, except now we're going to change. Well, first we need to make sure that it's picking the right range right here. So we're just going to select our range. But the key thing to change now is instead of greater than zero, we're going to do less than zero. Now, the quick way to verify that this information is correct is by doing this quick formula. So we're going to take this number plus this number right here. And if this equals the difference between this number and this number, which in this case it does, we know that we have the correct number. Now we need to calculate the number of wins and the number of losses that we took. For that, we're going to use the count if function. And here we're going to select this different range right here. And we're going to count if this equals w just make sure to capitalize it if you're using a capital w which in this case we are and now we are going to copy this formula right here paste it here and then we're going to change it to now an l make sure that it's capitalized and here we go now we have our wins or losses and then the win percentage is very simple to calculate so first what we need to do is type equals take the sum of this plus this and we're going to divide this number by the number of wins and we're going to divide this number by the number of wins so in this case we got 14 wins we're gonna click enter and now we're gonna turn this as a percentage and now we can see right here that our win percentage has been 63 percent which is pretty good we're gonna find our most profitable trade and our worst trade so for that there's a very simple formula this is the max formula and then we select the max again we're gonna select more columns right here and this is gonna give us the highest number which in this case 575 as you can see it is indeed the highest number and now we're going to do the same for the war trade. so we're going to take the min this time select again a number of different columns click enter and now this is going to give us the worst trade that we have next up we're going to create our bar chart that is going to give us the difference between these two numbers right here so for that we can just select these numbers and then click on insert click on chart and then here we go this is gonna give us our chart right here the one thing i would like to add is a title so in this case the title is going to be account balance you can change it to be whatever you want and we're going to center it so i just need to click right here another thing that i like to do is change the background color so in this case we're going to change it to this nice gray right here the starting balance this right here is an input so we're going to change it to this gray but we don't want to do the same gray otherwise it's going to blur in with the background so i'm going to do like a darker gray and this right here we know is a calculated field so this i'm actually going to change it to this green that you can see the other thing that we would like to do to be able to visualize the data better is to add labels to the data so if you click on this either one of these columns there should be an option to click on data labels and here we go now this is going to allow us to visualize the data pretty easily and then from here what we can do is move this to the side remove the space i do like to have some space particularly for me between the different fields but we can remove it like that and then we can just simply adjust our chart to be right here in line and there we go now we have our account balance chart the last thing that we need to add to our trading journal is the chart that tells us the daily profit or loss in order to be able to insert this chart this is a little bit more tricky just because of the way the data is structured but all you need to do is select the data and then go right here to insert chart and this is going to create a chart right Right here now don't worry this is not the final chart what we need to do here is we're going to add the series and in the series we're going to select uh, the profit or loss column so we're going to click ok now we have the profit or loss the one thing that is messed up is the date the date should be on the x-axis right here now we have the date on the x-axis and now we can also get rid of the date on the y-axis so we remove that and there we go now now we have our data nicely formatted in this format the 
other thing that we need to do is you can click right here on aggregate and what that's going to do is it's going to take the sum of the different values so for example there's different uh trades that happen on september 1st so this is going to take the sum of the profit or loss made on those specific dates so that way you can visualize the data more easily uh, we can also make some other adjustments so one of the key ones is the chart title so in this case we're going to say daily profit slash loss the other thing to do is to change the background color we can change it to be the same as usual and the one thing that i like to do here is to format this in this blue so that way it's congruent with the table colors after that what we can also do is add data labels so that way we can see the data more easily and then what we're gonna do is it's taking the number format from the source data so we're going to adjust the format right here to have less decimal places so in this case we only want maybe one or two decimal places it's all up to you and then one more thing that we can add uh, that's pretty helpful is right here on the series is uh, we have our data labels the other one is the trend line so we can see the general direction of the investments that we're making so in this case it seems like our training strategies the results are getting worse and worse over time but this is just because of the data that we entered if we change the data then we get a completely different number one thing i would like to do here is just to change the date so that way the information makes a lot more sense so as we can see here we had a pretty good profit or loss and then here we kind of just uh, went down uh, with the trend line but there we go after this what we can also do is just to keep everything congruent we're going to go here on the title and we're going to just center it and then we can just simply adjust the size of our different charts and different elements in the spreadsheet so we can adjust this chart to be in this manner and then the beauty of this as i showed you before is if you update the data so in this case let's just say 500 you can see how automatically all of the different information will update you will have your different reasons here and ultimately this is going to allow you to find more profitable ways to make your trades over time i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one